Good morning. Welcome to the FTS bet slip on Sunday, the 5th of April. Um, I'm going to do the stat of the day first because I've just put a video on the blog. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Coughing, panic, panic, panic. Um, a video on the blog, um, just going a little bit more over the BTTS market that I mentioned yesterday. Um, so there's a little five, six minute video on the um, blog ftsincome.co.uk go to the blog and you'll see that video that was added today um, I've got on that that'll explain more about what I covered yesterday but I've got stat of the day for today uh, J League again if the both team if Japan, Japan starts up again uh, both teams to score no between 1.62 and 2.4 is a raw 38 points profit I show that system on the video obviously that is raw there would be other methods I would look at um, before confirming a bet but just as an example it more again mentions a little bit about how you have to ride bad periods as well um, so stat of the day J League 1.62 to 2.4 on the video there's also an Irish one uh, for the Airtricity Premier and um, as I say videos five six minutes which will explain it all a little bit better for the both teams to score not my favorite market by any stretch um what else have we got right let's get organized here as always um, um bear with me a second do 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 um jokes let's do the joke of the day flipping logio uh Al Alistair um, Moffat, Alistair bet engine legend, uh, really nice guy. Alistair getting in on the trick, sending me in joke of the day. Um, Alistair Moffat, who can drink five litres of petrol and not get sick? Jerry can. <laughs> Jerry can. Rolling in the aisles, Alistair. They are rolling in the aisles. And uh, where else? Hang on, I've got loads of them. I've got so many of these jokes of the day. Um, who else sent me one? Somebody sent me one up here somewhere. Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. Gotta find these. Um, oh, I'm all over the shop. Oh yeah, it was no, it was Simon Dennis's. When it's Simon Dennis, put it here. Here we go. I tripped over in Asda today and fell into the baked beans. There was canned laughter, and he's put bad. As I said yesterday, bad enough for your joke of the day. Sod off. Uh, that's the standard he's coming up with. Then he's nicked it off somebody. It's not even original. Let's have the originals. Um, so there you go. Joke of the day. Stat of the day. Done. Uh, right. Book of the day. I enjoyed this one. I'm not sure it'll be for everybody. But um, it's a book called Principles by Ray Dalio. Principles by Ray Dalio. Um, I really enjoyed it. Good, good book. I hope... Um, that uh, a bit more, a bit more unusual than probably a normal book, I would say. Um, but I would hope that it's something that um, he's a he's a famous investor and entrepreneur, founded an investment firm. Um, I think, and I might be wrong. I think he was one of these time, uh, one of the most influential men in the world. Voted one day. Um, and he basically shares what he's he are he's learnt over his career, um, so yeah, practical lessons basically. I guess is the word I would say this is. Um, so Ray Dalio principles, um, a good book. Uh, so that's one. That's this one for the list. Um, there you go. That's that. That's the book. That's it done. Um, I bought that on the 26th of December 2017. There you go. Um, right, what else have I got? Uh, done the stat, done the book, done the joke. Not got a recipe today, letting you be. Oh yeah, let's let's deal with the old... Uh, let, let's deal with the old... We didn't do the... What were the results? Don't even know the results. What were the results of the final score on the old crisps? You lot still don't get it. Still sending me other stuff in. The poll is finished. 319 of you voted quite correctly salt and vinegar comes out in front salt and vinegar 53.3 
cheese and onion 46.7 I'm going to tell you why this is facts that you can't argue with none and none of these crisps none of them and people are throwing in beef and onion and beef and tomato and all the other garbage there's only two packets of crisps where you can use natural proper flavors and get it right ready sorted you can make them at home finally peel some potatoes uh, sorry peel some potatoes finely slice them fry them up put in some salt you've got ready sorted crisps on your own you can do exactly the same with salt and vinegar put the salt in put the vinegar in you can't create beef and tomato you can't create cheese and onion it, it's impossible so they never taste anything like they should do you might open it and think oh i like that it doesn't taste anything like cheese and onion eat a cheese and onion packet of crisps and then get some cheese and get an onion and tell me where it's remotely close get a beef and a get a whole cow and some tomatoes and eat that and then eat a packet of beef and tomato crisp prawn cocktail they're all garbage only two crisps on the planet that are any good ready salted but a bit boring salt and vinegar throw the vinegar in gives you that lovely little kick salt and vinegar the fts public knew we're out in front that's it walker's been pulling the wool over your eyes for years with these nonsense flavors that they've been doing old gary lineker with his big jug ears coming out eating it you've all fallen for it nonsense salt and vinegar is the way forward the finest crisp known to man the only one of two that you can recreate yourself all the rest is nonsense you know I'm right once again. There you are. Paid attention. Job done. Um, joke. Recipe. I've got no debate today. Oh, the boy's gone. He's gone. He's um, moved back to his house in Cambridge. We're down to two. Um, been quite stressful having him here. I'm not going to lie. Um, trying to negotiate. Uh, he's a panicker anyway. Um, so, yeah, he's he's gone. He's legged it. So he's gone back to his house in Cambridge. I don't know when we'll see him again. So it's just two and a dog. Um, but it will be, as I say, less stressful. He was winding his mum up because um, he obviously was working from home, not going anywhere. So um, he's, um, yeah, that's it. It's, um, yeah, two of us. Yeah, be better, won't it? It will be better. Um, so the family debates, unfortunately, because he basically instigated them. He used to come in, throw a grenade, talk a load of old nonsense. I'd get, hang on a minute, and that's where the family debates come from. Sam and I are a lot more calm. We don't, um, we don't really debate. Um, yeah, so there you go. Gone. Boy's gone. Um, people still going out yesterday, weren't they? I just don't get it. I just I don't know what's got to happen here for this to be packed and, and all this, all the government send mixed messages. It's been very clear. Stay home, save lives, protect the NHS. It, it, you can't be any more clear. I mean, it's just going to take people, these people to see someone die. And, and I mean, there was a woman yesterday I saw a, a thread. She'd said that um, it's vital to go out for your immune system it's absolutely vital an immunologist an immunologist came on was on the thread and basically just said you're talking complete and utter garbage you do need things like vitamin c help keep your immune system running at its peak but your immune system is developed by the time you're an adult and going out or in doesn't make a blind bit of difference to it um, so then she completely changed her argument to something else she just completely went from oh well hang on a minute i'll use this as an argument then for going out and sunbathing um it's tough. I get it. It is tough. And if you've got kids in the house, it's tough. It's, but if it was pissing the rain, you wouldn't be going out. You'd be finding something to do with your kids. Find something to do indoors. Simple. There is loads of things. I detailed things yesterday. Games, jigsaw puzzles, drawing, cooking. There's loads of things we can do. Pretend that what's going on outside, just pretend it's thunderstorms pissing the rain. Um, people just seem to be obsessed with almost sort of being defiant. Um, and people are dying by the hundreds people are dying every single day and fucking idiots are still doing it and they i just don't see why we need a government to come out and say everybody's got to stay in and every park's going to be like i can't believe i mean we do obviously because people are thick as mints but why we can't have a uh so there's no self-responsibility for anything now you know and all we're looking to do as a society whenever somebody stands up and says something is shoot them down um, it's it's sad. It's pathetic. Um, it really is, and this is a this is going to be a real interesting time in our history when things do get back to normal, and they will. Um, you know, reading about the football yesterday, and quite right. I, 
I don't have a massive view on it. You know, they do obviously through tax can contribute a massive amount. Um, are the clubs playing the system? Probably, yes. I I've not really looked into it enough to have a, a big view. Um, but what, what cracks me up is, you know, it is like the people criticising... Um, criticising... Uh, out clapping for the NHS and then they're probably the ones out in the park you know so there we've got a massive amount of hypocrisy with everything but all the people saying they're not going to watch football that's me done they will yeah, they will I bet you won't be able to find one person who doesn't renew their sky or start going back to games it'll all be forgotten because that's what we do it's like the MP's expenses for me I thought that was going to be the time and a year on something else came along it was all forgotten the football football will go on pretty much in its same vein I would imagine when we get back when we get back to normal I, I believe that I think there might be rumblings early on but ultimately the powers that be and the TV money will work its way back to how it was within 12 months and nobody will even be talking about this um, the whole thing would need a root and branch um, upheaval and it's just not going to happen and it's people using platforms like Twitter to jump up and down oh it's me going I ain't going again and this that and the other they will like I will not go in a Weatherspoons pub again simple plain and simple I won't and I'm like that that will be me done Suggsy will be in there I'll be talking to him from outside um, I just won't do it but people will go to football, all these people jumping up and down. And, and they are easy targets, I don't care what you say. Whether we agree with it or not, they've been paid ridiculous money for years. Um, of course, it isn't right. Um, but it's again, it's easy just to stand there and slag them, criticise them. And I know footballers. I mean, I was good friends with Casey Keller, Gus Poyer. And I knew back then what they were doing in the community to help people um, and things that don't get reported um, it just seems to be the latest thing in this sort of crazy time to have a go at. I'm sure that they will do something. But as you say, you start cutting wages, you start losing the tax income. Um, or you're going to tax them and then take it off their net pay. Um, who knows? Who knows what's going to go on? You know, it's um, just easy. But all this, I'm not going again. You wait and see. You wait and see when it starts up. They'll all be joining Sky again and they'll all be flocking through the turnstiles. You just wait and see. You Anybody finds one, let me know because I'm going to... Um, I'm going to... I'd have to spread at about one to three. That would be it. Um, next, next. Oh, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I saw yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm actually stealing this idea. I saw another punt yesterday. He ran a poker competition. I don't have a poker stars account, but Sam has. So I had a quick look last night. Um, we can set up an FTS poker competition. Um, we can have more than one, but we can have a little poker tournament. Um, so I had a look last night. We can do it for an £11 entry. £1 goes to poker stars. £10 goes into the prize pot and the top 15% get paid. Um, so we could have an FTS competition. I was thinking perhaps next Friday night, sort of seven o'clock. Um, but again, if I don't know whether people would want it. I don't want to go to the bother of setting it up and four people join and it's a waste of time. If people want to play poker in the FTS poker competition next week, I would play um, myself. I'll be using... Um, I, I won't set an account up. I'll just use Sam's account, so I'll be in there under Sam's name. But um, if people want to... Uh, do that on poker stars you just need to would need to download the software go to the lobby register for the tournament 11 pounds if that's something people are interested in if we can get sort of 20 30 people then it's worth a go give me a shout give me a shout on twitter or give me a shout via email or give me a shout via a comment on the on the um website and uh i can have a look um, i'm not saying it will be friday i'll have a look at my diary and see what i've got on but just one evening sort of friday saturday sunday next week we could have an FTS Texas Hold'em No Limit Poker Competition. It would cost you £11 maximum. We all get the same chips to start with. Um, and just a bit of fun. You can chat to people at the table. There's chat boxes. Um, and if if I it does go ahead and I play, I'll put a little prize for the person who knocks me out, for the bounty for the person who knocks me out. Um, extra. Okay, that's it. It's um, Sunday. I expect you're all lumping into Belarus. Um, Enjoy your Sunday, stay safe, stay indoors.
plenty of things to do. Um, house party, get your family on there. FTS Connect, if people want to talk to people, we'll happily link you up and talk about all sorts. FTS Fitness on the website, right hand side of the menu. FTS Fitness, Nick's given us four or five um, workouts there. So have a good um, have a good Sunday. There's plenty of things to do. Protest, pretend it's pissing down with rain. Anybody you see going out unnecessarily, I mean, I can't, as I say, can't believe how easy the advice was. Essential items, one bit of exercise, I don't know where laying around in a fucking park even qualifies. Um, right, have a lovely, uh, have a lovely Sunday, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. <laughs>